Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape that you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If that sounds like fun, like and subscribe for more. I'm still rewriting multiplayer with Mirror, but the good news is that I'm nearing the end. Why has this taken so long? My time is shared between family, work, resting, game dev and YouTubing in that order. As the needs of family and rest grew, time remaining for game dev and YouTubing shrank. A video takes roughly five hours of time a week, which is more than I had for all of my game dev. That meant no time for YouTube and very slow game progress. I also did something silly. In my last video, I said, you could also ignore the restriction, do parenting anyway, but switch off any synchronization on the child that might cause conflict. And that's what I'm doing. I'm famous for that kind of egomaniacal bravado, but in this case, my solution largely worked. However, I was getting intermittent sync errors when switching off the mirror network transform component, which happened whenever something picked up something or dropped something. In single player, picking up and dropping off is just a case of object transform parenting and setting rigid bodies to kinematic or not. In mirror, you can't do parent and child relationships between network objects, so you have to do a lot more work every time something picks something up or drops something off. Picking up and dropping happens a lot in Clomper. Claw picks up scrap. Claw drops scrap. Claw moves scrap to lift. Claw moves quest item to lift. Player picks up scrap. Player drops scrap. Player gives scrap to grinder. Player picks up quest tube. Player places quest tube in tracker. Player drops quest tube. For each case, I follow the official mirror documentation, which I still think is a bit bonkers, and replace one set of mirror code with another. There is a subtle difference in each of those cases too, which meant the amount of reusable code was small, no matter how I tried to create common components. As the game gets more content, I will be forced to try and find more common ground, but I can't keep banging my head against this particular wall. With all that picking up and dropping finished, I managed to sync my world building wave function collapse algorithm in about an hour. Christmas celebrations, stunted as they were in the UK, are now over, and I should be able to begin eking out a modicum more time for game dev. Thank you all for the continued support, topping 450 subscribers and now a year of YouTubing, I will get around to making a fun celebration video, even if it's a little late. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye. If you liked it, pop a little like down there. <laughs> if you liked it, then hammer it. The like button. Hammer the like button. Subscribe. Go on. You know you want to. Go on. Subscribe. Like. Like it. You know you like it. It's just a thumb up. Give me a thumb up. You know you want to. You love it. You want a bit of subscription. Hit the bell. Hit the bell as well. And the thumb. It's a thumb up, oh yes, and subscribe while they're at it. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have actually gone mad. <laughs>